simplest form. Now, simplest form is not a difficult concept either. Let's so say I have a fraction of 5 over 10. Once again, you ask yourself, what number goes into 5 that goes into 10? And I know that 5 goes into 5 and 5 goes into 10. Now, important to remi remind yourselves and, rem and to remember that the number has to be the same. This couldn't be, two, this couldn't be 5 and this can't be 2. They both have to be the same. So, if 5 goes into 5 one time, and 5 goes into 10 two times, I've just reduced this fraction to its simplest form. Sometimes the numbers are a little bit bigger. Sometimes we'll have a fraction maybe that's 20 over 30. Now, we all know that 10 goes into both of these. So I put a little 10 here and a little 10 here. 10 goes into 20 two times, and 10 goes into 30 three times, and I've just reduced this to the simplest form. I think that'll cover it for this lesson, and I look forward to having you back the next time when we talk about multiplying and dividing fractions with variables. covered for this lesson and I look forward to having you back in the next time when we talk about multiplying and dividing fractions with variables.